Hey there, this is Jerome Zoran, and I thought I would just let you know that if you haven't already, you can go and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chung Fu Channel. And also, for those of you on YouTube, we have a private group, Students of Chung Fu, where we bring beautiful things to inside here as well. And if you haven't, then please do go and like our Facebook page. You can go and like our page here as well if you want to. So, on to the meditation. Embodying the power of the solar light. Blessings and peace to you ones. We are working with the light as we approach the solstice in these days. In the Northern Hemisphere, you are going darker and darker towards the birth of the new light. In the Southern Hemisphere, you are coming to the brightest day, the longest day. Wherever you are in the cycles of solar activity, as they affect the Earth, inside you, you are always working to bring the solar logos light in to embody the Christ light, to embody the love, the light that is the divine presence. And wherever you are upon that path is perfect and beautiful. And we are working together, seeing that the solar light is inside you, that the sun rises inside you, that it brings light to bear upon the dark places, hidden places, places of pain, of negativity. That light comes in and it illuminates and gives meaning for you. It comes in both from below and rises up and it comes down from above. It is going in both directions. It is both coming in through the crown and rising up through the root. And it cycles. So it comes, it is in fact a complete, uh, you could say, cycle of its own. It is complete in itself. And yet it is combined with all cycles of light throughout the cosmos. Oh, you are connected to the inner central sun of creation to the creator, creatrix, to the mother, father, goddess, God. You are one. So as you breathe, remember. Remember the sun in your sky and remember the sun, the light of your spirit that moves around in your body, rising, radiating, coming in, going down, coming up. It's moving. Your consciousness is always changing, growing, evolving. So we're coming to the third chakra now, the power chakra, where you embody the light of your spirit, the solar light of your spirit, the sun, the solar plexus, because it is the place of radiance. It is the center of power within you, where your soul is able to radiate that power out. Even though we have spoken of radiating the power out in the Hara, the second chakra, it's not really till you get to the third chakra that you feel that expansion and full radiance of your power, of your ability to communicate your power, your power, your love. The power of the light is the power of love. So as you breathe, feel where your solar plexus is in your body, relax. Take slow, deep breaths and feel how simply this is about the love. This is very simple. This is about being the embodiment of love power. Embodying the power of the light is embodying the power of love. It is being 
in the divine presence without ego, without motivation, simply to bathe in the love, divine presence. So as you open your solar plexus, feel how it naturally opens your heart, naturally opens your hara underneath, that is between the heart and the hara, and just feel the perfection of the design of your body, heart and mind. Really enjoy this expansion. Relax your body, breathe deep. Each time we come back, remember the time before. So remember the big chamber of your hara, the big storeroom, the fire in the middle. Remember giving all of your old energies to the fire. Remember the sun coming up in the root center, expanding your root center, your base chakra so that you can receive more light. Feel yourself breathing in that light again, coming up through the hara, coming up to the solar plexus and feeling here there really is a sun right there. Just below your heart, but actually encircling your heart. The solar light of the solar plexus and breathe. And imagine it, it's come all the way up from the root and it's expanding in your solar plexus, it's getting bigger, it's really getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You might want to make that delineation with your hands of this big sun that now is coming so big, it's around you, it's all around you, you're inside it. It's huge sun and you are a solar being. And you are incarnating the solar light of your essence. And in, in that solar light, there is divine presence. And just breathe and feel it. You are a divine creation. Feel the wonder of you. Feel the miracle of you. You who are able to feel. You're able to feel so many emotions from the very most ecstatic to the greatest of agony. And as you open up your solar plexus, you realize you need this power of your solar plexus to hold up your heart and all the feelings that are in your heart you're very aware of as you open and build the power in your mind's eye as though this solar plexus is the very foundation on which your heart sits. If your heart is a palace, is a temple, a cathedral, the foundations here are your solar plexus center. So those foundations are built of solar light solar light that radiates into your heart center. Breathe. See it in your mind's eye. The solar plexus golden rays holding up your heart. Sunshine all the way. Today working with sun in all the centers. in order to prepare the centers for a very bright light that is coming into being. In order to clear all of the dark for the birthing of that light in the womb of creation within you and all around you. And feel how much with all your heart, with all your instinct, you want to protect love and light and all good energies 
works and intentions. Feel the power of this center when you are filling it with even more light and radiating light to it from above and from below, filling, filling, filling the battery of power that is your solar plexus power center right in the middle of your body. I am the light. I am the love. I am the power of transformation. I support all life. I bring my light to radiate, uplift and strengthen the love that is in my heart. Opening, opening, really feeling how that light is coming in, getting stronger and stronger, and it's rising up and connecting your solar plexus to your heart, your throat, your third eye, and your crown center. And the crown center is responding and bringing in the cosmic central sun energy, blending in, filling up. All the centers coming through into your solar plexus from above. I drink in the divine solar light of the cosmos. I drink it right inside my body. I drink it into my solar plexus chakra. I am nourished and lifted up by the energy of the cosmic central sun pouring in to fill my inner sun with eternal power of light. As that light comes in, just turn the lens right down to face the root center and connect from your solar plexus to your root center and look into the hara as well, the sacral center, and just breathe and be aware if you feel anything that you need to embrace or pull to you any places of sadness, loss or bereavement as you breathe. Just feeling your love so strong. Focusing it on you. The hardest place to focus is on you. To come back home to you. To take on all that is you. To transform you. To become the real you. Feel this inner sun shining, leading the way, smiling. This essence, this divine essence of your being. And giving thanks. Giving thanks for all the power of your solar plexus, solar energy. Noticing if there is anything in the way, any blocks at all. Noticing if a fire is needed. Noticing yourself is the hardest thing to do. Notice yourself. Look in and be honest. And throw into the fire all that is not useful for the building of your love power within. And with that feeling of expansion, feeling the solar energy running up through all your centers from the root to the crown, 
and down from the crown to the root in a big cycle of energy ongoing. And feeling how within you there are so many things you are seeing and knowing just with the radiance of this inner light shining. Giving thanks for your life this day. Giving thanks for this opportunity to take very good care of yourself. And to feel the light shining in the darkest of places. As the light gets dimmer and dimmer in the northern hemisphere and brighter and brighter on the outside in the southern hemisphere, but inside you, you are taking it into the dark places and you are working with it as the fire of renewal of transformation, of the dissolving of old pain. And the light is giving birth inside you to new energies, energies that are rising up Energies that nourish you and give you power within. As you come back into your body, just feel your solar plexus, your hara, your root center, and just notice that they are bigger, that they are expanded, and that the light is shining into places where you may have found some difficult feelings, and the difficult feelings are dissolving because they just need your attention and your awareness. They just need you to be present with them. Be bold and brave and shine the light. The light of consciousness, the light of love. And feel very appreciative of yourself as you work in this way to integrate all aspects of light and dark within you. As we go forward on this path, this solstice path, blessings and peace.